Oh, man, I found your letter, and again, what you wrote, it was not just a note, it was just a, it's one of those things where you don't get that one-on-one -on -one reaction in a letter. And again, I thank you for that. Nowadays, everybody's out looking for them, out for themselves. And, but occasionally, I'll, I'll run into that, that oddball that just... Yeah. And that's what gives me faith. In Good morning. I'm on my way to Utah. I'm going out for a wedding. I have a feeling this trip is going to be much more meaningful. I actually think what I'm about to do now is going to be quite an, an, an interesting experience. This experience actually started several months ago. I got a phone call from a guy named Doug. And he said, hey, I wanted to contact you because what you did was so nice and I just wanted to catch up. He was the guy who helped me buy my first suit. So anyways, over the next couple months, we kind of communicated back and forth. After buying the suit, he snuck in a tie. It was one of the most beautiful ties. It was the first tie I ever really wanted to own. It may have been the first tie I ever owned and it fit my suit perfectly and it just him as a person he just impressed me and how thoughtful he was and how good at his craft he was now that I'm in the business of selling neckties it's really kind of cool to come full circle back to meet a guy who gave me my first tie and not only that but to have that experience be something so memorable for me as well as for him and just to reconnect so uh so i guess i'm almost here i didn't know this place was so nice it's a brio italian uh and apparently my friend doug has some some fine tastes but uh, he's definitely good at picking suits. I'm here with Doug and uh, we've, we've caught up a little bit and I, I asked him if he would share our story from his perspective. And so here's, here's Doug. Hi, years ago, I was in the suit business, ties. You know, customers, salespeople, it's a different relationship. You can know customers for two, three years. They come in, they get what they want. Hi, everything's fine, how's your day going? Out they go. I think he is one of the first young customers I've ever had that actually sat down and hand wrote me a note that I kept, just easy to deal with, just very personable. Yeah, so like I said, I had now forgotten that I sent that letter, but I think that that kind of pushed it over the edge where it was like that whole situation was just, I was so grateful for it that I ended up writing him a letter and just said thanks. And then it was 16 years later when, when he pulled that letter out of a box he kept it in and reached out and that kind of brought all the memories back. I just think it's such a cool full circle uh, to reconnect with Doug. With everything going on in the world nowadays, politics, misery in the world, uh, to connect with someone, I wish that I could take my experience with Ben, put it into a vaccine and inoculate everyone <laughs> in the world. Because to have just something that is there in the heart. A connection. A connection, yes. Yeah. From a young wannabe missionary to uh, 
an old salesperson that uh, enjoys the company of young people and their stories and their lives. That's it. For me, Doug represents dedication to his craft and true care for other people. Isn't that part of the world's problems today is that we, we're not connecting enough with each other. We're not, you know, we, we connect on social media, but do we connect in person and, and strengthen those relationships, connect with somebody not in our own generation? Things could work out better if people would just sit down and talk. I mean, a handwritten letter nowadays, a lot came through that letter and uh, a handshake, a hug, a handwritten note. That goes a long way, it's just to have people reconnect. I feel a, a stronger connection with him because of reaching out and because of that experience that we had and because of his care for other people. That's, uh, that's a little bit about our day and, and our connection. Hopefully it's, it's, it's inspiring and if nothing else, it's just interesting. All right, so I just got done with Doug. I really like him. Like I said, he's one of the best suit connoisseurs I've ever met. And turns out he's a big, he's, he's kind of a history buff on English history. And he just kind of fits the part of a, of a suit connoisseur. So amid the busy schedule, I had a chance to kind of slow down. Part of this trip is my personal counsel, which I do every once in a while, where I kind of step back from life and I, I think about, you know, what are my goals? What am I doing with my life? And just ponder a little bit. And so sometimes when I do that, I like to come to a place like this. This is a temple for my church. They're always stone buildings and they build them on hills that overlook the valley. And so it's a, it's a great place to think about life. It's a great place to ponder and stay focused on what's important. I've been thinking a lot recently about the pandemic and the protests and everything that we're dealing with. And conversation with Doug today got me thinking even more about that and you know for me when things get a little crazy I like to I like to take a break and reevaluate and so this is this is a place that I like to do that it's so peaceful a lot of stuff to ponder these days under our state of our country some of you know that the new mission for My Nice Thai, Save America. America is at a crossroads. Can we save it? And the answer is yes, definitely yes. And we have to save it because America is the shining city on a hill. The land of the free, the inspiration to the world. We cannot fail where our ancestors succeeded. So, a lot to ponder.